hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today we will learn how to extract data from web page in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely so let's get started so in today's video what we are going to do is we will navigate to x-rates.com portal and after that i will click on rates table right and then i will extract this information from the web page and this uh, uh, when we will extract this data it will be stored in two ways first uh, we, i will show you how you can store this information into a data table and the next time i will show you how you can extract this data and put it in the excel okay so let's move to the power automate desktop and here what we are going to do is so as we know that oh, x x-rates.com is already open so what i want to do is before uh, once uh, once i will run this bot i want to check if that portal is already open if it is open i want to close it okay and then i want to launch launch the then i want to open the website in the chrome again okay for that we have an action here so which is if window so with this we will check if the window is already opened if it is open we can close it so i'll drag and drop if window and we have three options here first is by window ui element which means then you'll have to come here and you know add the ui element otherwise you can choose the window instance right and the next one is title and class i will go ahead with the title and class so if you can see here the title is given as currency exchange table and the us dollar usd x rates but we will not enter completely what we will enter here is a currency exchange table come back to the power automate desktop and type currency exchange table here you can see the rest of the uh, title is already filled we can remove it and put the star which means after currency exchange table there can be any text and the class of uh, uh, chrome is this chrome underscore with get win underscore one so this will be the class so this is the title and this is the class you can choose the title after click clicking on this drop down also and here also you see that the window like wild uh, wild cards can be used like a window title so a question mark or a star so it is already telling that you can use wild card selectors here also if you want to click on this drop down you can choose the class from this drop down list so click on save and after this what you want to do is you want to close the window so here what we will do is we will say close window and here also we have three options we will go ahead with the class and here we will type currency exchange table and put star and then the class name is chrome underscore we get win underscore one so click on save so every time when the bot is running it will first come and check if this if with this title and class if window is open it will close it and then we can use the launch new chrome we can drag and drop here and then we can say that okay so what will be the url 
so we can take it as x rates just copy this come back here and select it window state should be maximized and the browser instance will be stored in the browser variable click on save so we want we need to put it outside okay and then i want to wait for two seconds before performing any action on the web page so i will type wait and pull the wait action drag and drop the wait and put two then click on save and then once this is done you want to focus the window to focus window I will use so focus window action and then I will drag and drop it and then from the drop down I will choose title and class and here you have an option called select window just click on it and the window will be highlighted and then what you have to do is you have to press ctrl and left mouse click together and you see that the title and class is captured so what you can do here is you can just remove everything and keep the star exchange rates star right and then click on save but as you can see here that so this is on the exchange rates the moment we will navigate to x hyphen rates so this will be the title and this is exactly what is captured in the focus window okay now after this what i want to do is i want to click on the rates table so i will choose click link on web page action drag and drop it here and then i will choose the ui element and then take add ui element right and then highlight the element that you want to capture so and then press control and left mouse click see the element is captured click on done and then click on save go to the ui elements select the element that you have captured just now and double click on the selector just check if the selector is reliable and here you can see that so in the x rates table we have this li for me it looks fine so what we can do here is So this looks fine we can test it we can click on update and then click on close in my previous video you had seen that how we how we can test the you know specific element uh, quickly so what i will do is i will just again pull the launch new chrome and then here we can choose
in the launch mode we can choose attached to running instance and then by title and then I can as I know that the title of the uh, web page is exchange rate so I will just put the exchange rates and everything I will just remove it and the instance will be the same so I do not do not want to change the instance I'll keep it uh, browser only so I will click on save so here, here we want to check whether this click link on web page selected is working fine or not so what I will do is I will right click on the launch new chrome and then click on run from here And as you, as you can see that it is able to click on that element you can go back to home again and just check it again so let's say if the element is changing we will get to know when we will run it again so right click on launch new chrome and select run from here what will run again and we'll try to click on great stable yeah so this selector is reliable as you can see it is working every time so this is fine now what we want to do is we want to extract the data right so here we have an option called extract data from web page so go to the web data extraction and choose extract data from web page <laughs> so here we will choose the browser and here we are telling that is store data mode so we have two option here one is variable other one is excel spreadsheet so as i told you in the beginning of the video itself that we, i will show you both way so first i will go ahead with the variable right so here i've chosen the variable and then you have to leave this window open and go to the web page where you want to extract the data and then you have to highlight the element that you want to capture so you see here that this is this does not look like a data table okay because you see there is no parent and all so what we can do is we can just go ahead with the first one select it and then right click select the element so it is th element i will right click on it i will choose the extract element value and then on the right side when you go it says that text us dollar right select it then select the other th element right click go to extract element value and select the text and same way do do it for the td element right click and then select euro and here you need to select anchor tag because that is the that is the tag which is having the value and this is what we want to extract do it again do it again for td
so as you can see that it is coming in the list format so what we'll do is I will click on reset so this is not extracting the complete data I will go ahead and do it again click on TD element right click and go to euro then select the anchor tag and then take the value again click on the anchor tag and take the value okay so we have got two columns right click and do it again you see all the data is captured from this table right once you are done selecting the data when, when once you are done uh, finding out your data you can click on finish and then click on save right so what we can do is we will test this now so so just run the bot so first what bot will do is it will just close the window and then it will launch the x rates portal after launching it will click on rate stable wait for two seconds and then click on rate stable and then extract the data right you can go to the power automate again and if you see here in the data from the page variable the desired data is extracted right so this is how you can extract data and keep it in the data table variable now let's do it uh, for to store this data in the excel so i will click on excel spreadsheet and then click on save right and run the bot again so it will again close that window and launch the page and then it will extract the data and keep it in the extract data from web page so it is launching it again it will load the page and then it will wait for two seconds and then focus the window and then click on rate stable now it will extract the data and then it will open the excel file and put it there so as you can see here the data is extracted and stored in the excel worksheet so this is how you can extract data from web page and store it into the data table variable and also you can store the data in the excel worksheet so if you like this video please like click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day